My name is Otis Noble III, and welcome to LA Social Science. Once again, we get an opportunity here at LA Social Science, the E-Forum, to really introduce you to one of those outstanding faculty members we have. And today, I have the pleasure of introducing you to Dr. Laura Chavez Moreno. Dr. Laura Chavez Moreno is a postdoc scholar at the Graduate School of Education and Information Studies. And this summer, she will be entering in as a new faculty member in the Cesar Chavez Department of Chicana Chicano Studies. Um, today, we'll get the chance to hear Dr. Chavez Moreno speak to us about her article in which she challenges U.S. imperialism. Without further ado, Dr. Laura Chavez Moreno. My name is Laura Chavez Moreno, and I authored an article published in the Journal of Teacher Education titled U.S. Empire and an Immigrant's Counter Narrative Conceptualizing Imperial Privilege. I chose to write about empire in education because I noticed a lot of the education research that was striving to account for how racism and colonialism impacts education wasn't theorizing or even discussing imperialism, even though the U.S. is an empire. I believed that without acknowledging that America is an empire and without exploring its implications for U.S. schooling, there are a lot of narratives that are detrimental to both immigrants and non-immigrants that go unchallenged. And I wondered if a lot of the education research that spoke about racism and colonialism wasn't theorizing about imperialism, then what does that mean for teacher education research and practice and how immigrants are conceptualized? So I wrote this article to join the efforts of scholars who were pushing the field toward having a consciousness about U.S. imperialism and its consequences. I share my own story of being an immigrant to the U.S. and how I came to understand the U.S. as an empire and what this meant for me in my teacher training and practice. I share my story in order to invite scholars and teacher educators to recognize that the U.S. is an empire and to see imperialism as having effects in our lives and that it should be accounted for in our scholarship, just as we do with racism and colonialism. I argue that through this understanding, researchers, teacher educators, and teachers can attain a more humane understanding of themselves and immigrants. I also call for researchers to conceptualize immigrants within a nuanced framework of white supremacy that includes naming the U.S. as an empire and that positions imperialism along with racism and colonialism. And I encourage scholars and practitioners to have political clarity about what it means to do research and to teach in an empire and what it means to work to disrupt oppressive narratives. I hope this article prompts education researchers and teacher educators to consider the triad of imperialism, racism, and colonialism, and to think about how they have benefited from and been harmed by living in an empire, and how our work as scholars and educators can trouble the dominant narratives that prevent us and others from seeing the U.S. as an empire. Thank you. Thank you.